in this video I'll show you how you can weld plastics, how you can repair pieces of plastic from your appliances, any device really from your car, from whenever some piece of plastic breaks and you can find it difficult to replace the part, you don't find the spare part, you can weld the piece of plastic pretty easily. You can also glue it, but the weld is instant. As soon as it uh, cools down, it's finished, it's ready to use. For this I use a paper clip, surprisingly a paper clip, and the paper clip is used as reinforcement in the plastic. I will use a soldering iron and the paper clip to embed the paper clip in the piece of plastic that is broken but you can also use the spring from a clothes spin the clip that you use to hang the clothes on the dryer many of these clips they have a nice solid clip spring and the metal here it's very solid you can use the spring part or you can use this straight part of from it depending on the type of plastic and the shape of the piece that you want to weld in this case the spring is too large but in another piece that is thicker the spring m would be much better also the rest is really too thick the pieces of this uh, wire they are too thick so I bent it a bit with the pliers trying to make it more narrow so it fits the part easier but the problem here, the wire thickness, it's uh, too much for this part, so I will, I will use a paper clip, it's easy. Or you can even use a staple, staples, you can use staples for this. No need for any specialized materials or anything, just use what you have in your home. And the soldering iron, it should be a really strong one so it generates a lot of heat and what I do I put the part in the ideal position where both parts are welded together exactly how they were before it broke and I will make tack welds to keep the part in place before I start welding it further these are just small points four points on all the edges so it keeps the part without moving so I can continue and uh, not worry that the part is moving and it's out of alignment some parts they need high precision some don't so it's up to you this one really needs a bit of precision because there is a pin that has to go in the hole in that part and it needs to be aligned yeah now it's ready to go okay so i'm going to put the pin on the side that is not touched by any other moving part inside here there is a pin that goes in and out and i don't want to put anything there because it would uh, make things more difficult but on the back here there is nothing, it's just a reinforcement from the part and that's all. So that's where I'm going to put the paper clip or staple if you use a staple or the piece from the clothes pin, the dryer, dryer pin. Here this paper clip was a bit too long, should have made it a bit shorter, but even like this it works eventually you will see that yeah and i dropped my soldering iron now yeah you have to be careful with the soldering iron especially because it gets really hot be careful not to touch it with your hands like they do on some pictures on the internet so the metal part you don't touch it for sure and try not to drop it like i did how you do it, you put the soldering iron, you plug it in and you let it get hot. Clean the tip also, not like I did here with the 
the the tip was from before it wasn't clean and you place the soldering iron tip on the paper clip on the metal part so the metal part gets hot and it it's embedded in the plastic part in the piece like this the metal paper clip or staple or any other metal mesh you can use mesh also uh, it becomes a bit like the rebar in cement in building materials where they put cement and the rebar steel iron rods inside the, the pillars to make it stronger it's the same idea here is plastic and metal but it works pretty well and it's, uh, it's good not to burn too much in one place the burn marks there you see are leftover re residue from the soldering iron maybe a bit of burn from the plastic also sometimes there is not enough plastic here so for example here I should have used a little bit of filler material filler plastic and you have to check the type of plastic that you are working on usually the parts have a marker with the type of plastic this is ABS and I guess 90% of these parts from electrical appliances home appliances are ABS but you have to check if it's ABS find a piece of plastic in your home that is also ABS and take from that you could even take from this original part if you really don't have from from where to take but it should be the same similar plastic I mean the same plastic ABS or um, polypropylene or PET this is this is the the idea is shouldn't, you shouldn't mix different plastics so that the, the bond is strong between between them ABS it's pretty easy obviously any smoke coming out of this don't inhale it don't smell it you do this outside in a well ventilated area if it's not windy use a fan next to you because these are toxic fumes from the burnt plastic and you see the part is ready it's very strong here I did the weld on the edges on both sides around everywhere and there is the two paper clips on the back so that's pretty strong now this is from my washing machine so now it's fixed there's gonna be a video about the washing machine and what happened to it and how I fixed this in 10 minutes almost thanks for watching